Welcome to Agoracom, a small cap epicenter on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press release out of the small cap space every morning at the open so you hopefully profit from them and maybe find your next great small cap investments. Monday, October the 18th, resources are dominating the news from China to North America. We're going to start you off with China first. China Energy Corp, OTC, CHGY, reported the third quarter numbers for the, for the month ended August 31st, 2010. This company is a coal trader and a producer and processor of raw coal. Here are the highlights. Revenue for the quarter increased 112% to $21.2 million. Net income of $4.3 million. That equates to $0.10 cents per share. But the company says it does include a $3.3 million government subsidy. That is a good thing. On the other hand, got to, got to find out how long that government subsidy can, can go for. Though we do know out of China, China's putting a lot, a lot of money uh, behind these energy companies. So it's not a surprise that may continue for a while. The company, which I think is the strongest point here, also reaffirms full year 2010 guidance of 17 to $18 million in net income. Doing some quick math based on the current quarter, if they continue the current quarter, uh, you extrapolate that revenue out number, that turns out to be approximately 40 to 45 cents per share share, assume they have the same efficiencies this quarter as do for the entire year. So not a bad assumption. If that's the case, the company's traded you on Friday at $1.70. That's where it closed at. So you're potentially picking up a company at about four times earnings, a little less than four times earnings, somewhere around there. But you got top line gr growing at 112%. So uh, maybe a great gem that you might have found here. You've got to do your own due diligence. These are just rough calculations back in the back in the napkin based on what we see in this press release. But I like the numbers. Definitely go take a close look at China Energy. Next up, China Tech Development, NASDAQ, CTDC. This piggybacks off the news that came out of Ying Li uh, the other day. And specifically, this is another company here that's, uh, oh, let me get to that that is actually increasing their production capacity expansion for the photovoltaic modules. Ying Li came out with kind of the same thing. They're in the solar energy business uh, on Friday. So I'm seeing this trend here where producers are increased capacity. That's got to tell us that these producers are confident that sales are expected to grow. They're looking at their pipeline. They're seeing demand. And in fact, they think that things are going to go really well. Uh, the company right now, uh, pro its products are being exported to both Europe and the U.S. markets, and the company is doing this to cater for increased market demand, and there you go. So they must see something coming down the road. They also say they intend to speed up the pace by means of mergers and acquisitions. A little bit about the company have been listed on the U.S. NASDAQ stock market since 1996, and they say their major shareholder, China Merchants Group, a state-owned conglomerate in China. They close on Friday at 242, uh, not too far off their 52-week low of $1.71, and uh, about 50% their 50% 50, 50 below uh, their 52-week high of 550. So go take a closer look to make sure uh, why that company's trading that way. Next up, Orco Silver. Got these things mixed up here a little bit. Uh, trades on the venture under the stock symbol OK. Uh, they're announcing additional high-grade intercepts. Big number here includes 3.59 meters, grading 1,040 grams per ton of silver equivalent. That's a big number. The company's saying excellent progress is being made in the technical studies to advance their uh, La Preciosa project in Durango, Mexico. The ongoing drilling program is being completed by their joint venture partner, Pan American Silver, uh, which trades on the TSX under PAA. Uh, the company also says more high-grade values have been intersected, such as the headline number I gave that was whole BP10539. Go take a look at the rest of the results, but I found the most important thing was the quote out of Gary Cope, Prez of Orco, who stated the following, the additional excellent drilling results and engineering studies will lead to a preliminary economic assessment to be released by Pan American Silver, and that's expected to be rated by the end of the year or early first quarter 2011. The project is on schedule. I really like to see that. That means it's an advanced project. we got a preliminary economic assessment. you got to put Orco on your watch uh, and see what else they come out with, but we like to see this kind of news. Uh, they say they're developing one of the world's largest primary silver deposits. Uh, that's at La Preciosa, located near the city of Durango in Mexico. Uh, Close at $1.92 on Friday. And finally on the news front, we got African Metals Corporation trades on the venture under AFR. They're saying that initial projected targets have been exceeded within its maiden resource. Uh, this in the DRC, it's a copper cobalt project. Uh, here are some of the highlights. The, res the resource 
as estimated, includes an inferred 5.8 million tons at 1.3% copper. Big number there for 75,500 tons of contained copper and 0.4% cobalt for 23,200 tons of contained cobalt. Sounds like some pretty big numbers, definitely worth looking into. Uh, resource modeling was also completed at various cutoff grades. Go take the press release for those cutoff grades. Obviously, there are probably some more ambitious numbers there, but if you're highlighting this one, that's the one we're gonna go with. The company does say, it does say, the resources stated in the press release are more than double those which the company had targeted through its initial drilling program at the project. So that's always a good sign. Uh, close on Friday, 25 and a half cents, not too far after 52 week low of 16 and a half, but significantly off their 52 week high of 55 cents. But they may, this may be the news the market was looking for. Go take a closer look at that. And finally, got some stock calls for you here. We've got Virginia Energy Resources, ticker symbol VAE on the venture. They were halted this morning at the company's request pending news. And in addition, we've got Canical Resources, CAN, uh, also halted this morning before the open at the company's request pending news. Always go take a look at those halts. It may mean significant news on the upside and even on the downside. So it's always uh, good to be well informed about what's going on out there. But stock halts, always a good idea to take a closer look at them. That's a wrap, as always. Quality over quantity for great press release for you and a couple of stock calls today. If you're watching this on Globe Investor and look for more great uh, small cap uh, resource leads, then look either below me or to the left of me, depending on what page you're on. Take a look at the best headlines over the past few days and our most recent interviews on Agoracom. Watch the show on the front page every day. Take a look at the best press release coming out of the sector right on the front page. And finally, Get stuff into our marketplace. A lot of great companies there, succinct descriptions, and you can filter that list by industry and exchange to find the ones that best suit your portfolio. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.